Also tonight, there is good news for the many customers who depended on the Food for Less grocery in Dayton that recently burned down. The owner tells us he has spoken with the insurance company and plans to rebuild the store. Kristen Escow joins us with continuing coverage of the owner's plans. Brooke and Mark, the owner of the Food for Less, says he's hoping to make the new store similar to the one that once stood there. He says having a grocery store is much needed for the neighborhood. This is what the owner of Food for Less saw the last time he was called to his store. I was lost. You know, you, you didn't know what to say, you didn't know what to do. Just sit down and watch. Lutfi Hussein spoke with us outside one of the other grocery stores he runs in Dayton. He opened Food for Less 16 years ago. After speaking with the insurance company, Hussein plans to rebuild. He says compensation from the fire partly depends on what investigators determine the cause of the blaze to be. Hussein says the new store may need to be slightly smaller, depending on what the insurance company provides. We'll try to make it the way it is. Uh, we may do a little bit of alterations to accommodate both communities, the international and the local community. Um, but the idea is to keep it as big as it was, if we can. But rebuilding takes time. The Dayton Food Bank says they have weekly food distributions planned for the neighborhood at least through December and are making plans to provide fresh food beyond that time over the long term. We know that people are in need, we know that they're struggling, and it's such a loss for that community to not have their local grocery. People here say they're hoping to see food for less as part of the neighborhood's future. It's really important for the people that don't have transportation or have bus fare to catch the bus or the places to the shop. You know, in the neighborhood. So it'd be a good thing for the community. My sympathies to those who live there. I mean, I'm here myself as an owner, but I know a lot of customers are here too for not having the store. So my heart goes for all those people. The owner says he had 14 people working at the store and expects all of those employees to be compensated for lost wages by the insurance company. Right now, he says it's too early to tell when the rebuilding process could begin. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.